I'm Liz, a nurse practitioner at the UMass Diabetes Center of Excellence. And I'm Jasmine, I'm also a nurse practitioner. And today we're going to show you how to properly use an insulin pen. So first, you would have already checked your blood sugars, and then you would make sure you have all of your supplies. Your pen needles and the alcohol pad. The next step is to check your insulin to make sure it's not expired. If your insulin is pre-mixed, you will have to roll it between your hands and then flip it upside down 10 times, but if it's not mixed insulin, you can skip this step. Wash your hands, make sure they're clean, remove the cap of the pen, and then we would use an alcohol prep pad to clean the top. Now we're going to attach the needle. So you're going to pull off the paper and push it and twist it like it's a light bulb. The safety cap you can remove and discard. Prime your pen by dialing up your dose to two units and then holding it in front of you and press it down to zero and see that liquid came out of the needle. Once you've primed your pen, the next step would be to dial up your dose. If you're dosed at 10 units, you would dial to 10. You can inject in the abdomen, avoiding your belly button by one to two inches, outside of the thighs, outside and back of your arms, the upper buttock area, or the outside of your thighs. If you're gonna choose to do it in your arm, you wanna make sure that you're leaning up against a wall to push out the skin that you wanna go into. Make sure you clean it with an alcohol pad. Push the needle into your skin and press down on the dial while the window is facing you and you're looking to make sure that all of the units have been administered. It goes down to zero and hold an extra five seconds. And then remove. Then we're going to locate the big cap from the beginning and we're going to push and twist to remove the needle. Now you know the basics of using an insulin pen. If you have any further questions, contact your diabetes educator or any healthcare provider.